Wow. She's fucked up. She's strung out drugs, man. Look at that. Just like nudging her, like wake your ass up. How do you fall asleep standing up? So this is the streets of Philadelphia, Kensington Avenue. All right. So basically, people just drive around with the cameras, documenting this this stuff, and it's happening all over America now. The the homeless population, the streets are fucked up. It's just craziness. You wouldn't believe this is America. You would never believe that. You think it's from one hood in Brazil or something. The government don't care about you. If you didn't know, know that now. And your voting don't mean nothing. Because if your voting actually may change, they wouldn't let you do it. It's just theater. It don't mean nothing. You don't have no power out here. Look at that, man. Landed walking dead right here, man. Look at this. Sad. Look at that. Look at that, man. Look at that. Strung out of drugs, man. Just. Damn. This is so horrible, man. The government don't don't care about its people. You can't vote your way out of this. You can't vote your way out of this. You need a revolution. That's what you need. You can't vote your way out of this. They're giving hundreds of billions to all the countries to fund wars. For their donors. That's all they care about. People that put them in office. People that tell the politicians what to do. They don't work for you. Look, look, look at this. This is America, yeah. This is even, this is not even, this is not even that bad, man. That's so worse the other day. I was like, I have to show this. I'm trying to find that video. That video was so bad, man. This is not just in Philadelphia. This is not just in Philadelphia. Almost every state in America now has this. Look at them. Look at that nigga right there. Sitting on an invisible chair. Look at that nigga, look at that. This is America. Wow. Hollywood won't show you this. The mainstream media is not going to show you this. Because they're trying to put you under the illusion, the delusion that, you know, you still live in a first world country. You still, you live in the greatest country of, of all. How can your country be great if the people live like this? Even if 2% of your population live like this, you're a failed state. You won't see this in Dubai. You won't see this in Saudi Arabia. Same people they villainize every single day. You won't see this over there. Shops closing up, everybody moving out of the neighborhood. Look at this, man. Look at that. It's like the, it's, it's like literally a live walking dead movie right now. Look, look, look. Help your people, man. These are human beings. People leaving out of boxes.
Wow. Wow. And the Pentagon said there was a clerical error, a clerical error that made $60 billion or something available money that they didn't know where the money came from. Just a magical 60 billion just appeared out of nowhere and they're going to give that money to Ukraine. It's all laundering, man. They're laundering this money to share with their pals, with their homies, man. That's all they're doing. That's all the war is about, man. They're using the war to get rid of the old weapons they don't need no more to sell that or they're sacrificing Ukraine and getting fat, getting money and just sharing the money amongst themselves while the people that supposedly quote unquote elected them in office are leaving like zombies out of boxes. Look at this. This is what you voted for? It's a Democrat state? Look at that, man. This is America, yo. This is the greatest country in the world. If you didn't know, if you didn't say at the top, streets of Philadelphia, you wouldn't know this was America. Because the way they package America, America is, 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 a, is a, a good, they're good salesmen. The American government, the American politicians are good salesmen. Hollywood, these people paint a certain picture of the country. And then you go there and you're like, God damn, this is what I'm seeing and this is not what Hollywood told me. Well, look, look, look at that. got dilapidated structures you've got people leaving out of boxes uh out of boxes you've got kids that go missing every every time hundreds of hundreds of thousands of kids go missing every year for child trafficking and stuff but you're not worried about that you're worried about what <clears throat> mispronouncing misgendering people that's where your priorities are ukraine like it's the 51st state. You want to go to war against Russia? When your people are morally dead like this? The spirits are low. Even the military, the spirits are low. You think these people are going to fight any serious opposition? You're not fighting no sand people up in the Middle East. You're going against like an even greater opponent, Russia. Yo, people are so delusional, maybe they think you can win a war with Russia when your country is like this. Ain't nobody gonna fight that war, man. These soldiers are gonna be like, hell no, I'm not gonna die for some for some billionaires. I'm not gonna die for no Elon Musk or Bill Gates. What the hell is wrong with you? They come back with their legs all blown up and end up begging in the streets end up like one of these people on the streets here after giving all that for their country well not for their country they think they're doing it for their country but they just man brainwashed you're not fighting for your country i can be fighting for your country but you're in someone else's country blowing shit up and then you come back home to this Wow. No one should be leaving like this, man. Oh. Wow. The opioid crisis in America has reached an alarming level, impacting individuals from all walks of life. I just read what's what the 
writing down their subtitle. According to the Center for Disease and Control and Prevention, from 1999 to 2019, over 450,000 lives were lost due to opioid related overdoses. With over 70% of all overdose deaths involving opioids. This is a crisis you should be dealing with. This is a crisis Joe Biden and them should be dealing with. And the border. Not Ukraine. What's your business with Ukraine? There's got over a thousand bases all over the world in other countries. Why? Your people are dying. Fix home first. That's why no one respects you anymore. You can't try to be the moral police of the world when your people are living like this. The moral decadence of the country is like all time high. Little kids twerking on the internet. Everyone's strung out of drugs. People dying of what's that, the, the fentanyl or whatever. You're over there in someone else's country trying to, trying to steal resources. So you guys, so you and your pals, your fellow uh, rich billionaires can get fatter and fill up your pockets and your people are dying out. These politicians have no souls, man. They are psychopaths. Your people are your children. The people of your country are your children that you've been placed as a leader of. It's like you're leading the family. You're the head of the family as a politician because they've elected you up there for that. For you to leave your children. Would you le let your children go on like this as a parent? But the politicians are supposed to be the parents of the masses, but they don't really care. Because any parent wouldn't let their child be like this. And the masses, the citizens, the people of your country are your children. And it's, it's, m women, it's so dangerous out here, man. You can't be out here as a woman like this. No protection, no nothing, just vulnerable out here, man. This is, this is sad. This is beyond sad. drifting just on the way to nowhere this is really heartbreaking this is very very heartbreaking I can't watch no more <laughs> 